sweat in buckets. Right, so where we left it? We left it like so. We left it like so. So let's fire it up. So we got Nico running. Yeah. And we also had a jumping flag. So let me set the jumping flag. Uh, da -da, where's the jumping flag? On. There we go. So that's where we got to, yeah? So we've got Nico jumping. We've got Nico jumping pretty high as well now. Um, and we've got different speeds. So we've got that speed. And we have got... And we have got... Where is it? Where is it? Oh, I've moved everything around because I needed to. Um, 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 where is it? It's not in there. It's got to be in here then somewhere. Oh, I moved everything around like a wally. Um... Where did I put that? Oh, I don't remember where I put it now. I'm sure it's in here. Nope, it's not in there. Ugh, I'll find it. I'll find it. Because what I've done, I've done some refactoring. Um to make because it was getting into one big game and a one big long program and I hate that so I've done some refactoring but I've forgotten where I've put everything um, it's got to be in there it's got to be in there it's got to be this which it isn't so then it's got to be that but it isn't so where's me scrolling? Hang on, I'll find it in a second. It's this. It's here. <laughs> I'm looking at it. So we've got diff we've got different speeds, yeah. So we decreased by one. We've also got decreased by two, yeah, which is double speed. If, it, if I remember. Ooh. No, oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Load counter, speed decrease by two. Why is that not working? That is no longer working. Oh no! Oops. You alright, buddy? Right. Oh, broke it. Broke the game. Right. The only difference, the only difference that is now is I did this. I set the carry. So if I clear the carry and do it, no, no. Whatever I've done is bust it. Whatever I've done is bust it. So, uh, 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 let's put that back. What did I change? Can I remember? Uh, 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 uh. Oh, let's try that. Right, that should. Right, that's still working. Yeah. Do that. No. All right, then. 
I have no un, un, no no un reason why that's not working anymore. Because I had two speeds. Yeah, that's no good. That's no good. Well, I had two speeds. We don't have two speeds anymore. But. But. Right. I think it's because I've refactored it. I don't know. But. I'm going to show you something now. So this is the normal speed. And I've got to figure out why the double speed's not working anymore. But. I've also found this insane mode, right? Now watch this. When I was testing different speeds, <laughs> insane mode. Yeah, blimey, it is fast. So we do have this insane mode. Um, to be honest, I think that would be massively unplayable because <laughs> Nico isn't, you know, he could he could hit a tree that's not even in 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 view. <laughs> but yeah, that was that was uh, insane mode. But I don't know why it's I don't know why this is not working anymore. Um, Ugh. Hang on. Let's do a comparison. Why is it not working anymore? Uh, where are we? Logic. And of course, it's not going to show it. Because it's there. That's what I was taking out. Here we go. So what did I do? So frame counter, speed decreaser, frame counter, am I using frame counter more than once? That is a good point, because I used frame counter and I've changed it to our screen counter. Yeah, I've changed it to display counter. Well, this this was supposed to be it. I mean, it was worth. Well, well, we'll. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. I'm not going to figure it out now because I've I've put it all in different routines. But the problem was we was using frame counter in more than one place. Yeah. Um, when I looked at it, we had this. We had the same. We had the same uh, variable being referenced. Maybe that's why it was working on double mode and then didn't work on triple mode. Um, so, yeah, it was. Hey, up, doctor. Um, so it was. It was. Uh, yeah, it was. Yeah, but let's say we've got insane mode. I'll figure it out. I'll figure. I'm, I've. I've got. I want to figure out the way to speed it up anyway, because um, we want the thing to gradually get quicker. So we're going to have to start jumping pixels, and so it's some. It's got to be something to do with this because we're storing it back in the display counter. Yeah. And really, I suppose, I suppose, I suppose, hmm, maybe if I do, maybe if I do this and go up and here, 
Ah, but then that's that's the re ah, that's the reason. Right, okay. But yeah, we could still do that. We'd have to do it before the rest of that. Because there's our frame counter. That's the frame counter that governs everything, yeah? But our display counter is going in the wrong is going in the opposite direction. Maybe that's what I should do. Maybe that's what I should do. Let's do this. Whoops. Right. Let's change the decrease to two. Let's try this. On the fly programming, you can't beat it. Hey! Double speed. Right, this should work then. Triple speed. Hey, there we go. I know I'd figure it out in the end. See if it'll do quadruple speed. See how see how far it takes before it breaks. Quadruple speed. Uh, five times. There we go, we've got our speed, there we go, we've got our speed working now. So we can now affect the speed. That insane mode is no longer required now. Six. This has got to be quick. That's, that is quick. And then last but not least, this may not work. Oh, it does. That's that insane mode. So there you go, we've got our variable speed. We've got our variable speed cross scroller. Now, if I go more than that, that should break it. It should not work on eight. But it is. How far can I push this? Oh my god. This is working better than I thought. How fat can I really push this? Okay, let's do 12. This is really, really pushing it. That, I think, I think we've hit the limit. Because that looks the same sort of speed. got what we got if you subtract some values that are not powers of two values you could have some problems on smooth scrolling maybe 16 breaks it okay let's try 16 now it's that the, there is a limit it that's the same speed as before so that's the same that's the same speed so let's try eight and I'm just wondering if anything bigger than seven is all the same speed yeah anything bigger than seven is all the same speed right because that's the same speed so seven is the maximum yeah what we'll do we'll put some key controls to 
to show the speed variation, yeah? So that's seven, that's the maximum. And then if we halve it, there you go. That's halving it. And then we'll go into double speed. There you go. And then single speed, which is the normal. There you go. To be honest, that looks very, very sluggish. <laughs> it's it's going to look sluggish, I think. I think, unless we have a beginner mode, trainer mode, you know, a trainer mode where you've been trained in doing it. But that's Nico jumping, yeah? And we've got Nico running. There you go. So, um, 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 what would Nico running look like at insane speed? I've not actually seen that. Here we go. Does it look like he's running? <laughs> he's more sliding, isn't he? <laughs> oh. I'm just wondering if we can make. He's sliding, yeah. I, I, I was just wondering whether. Yeah, if we make his animation speed up, that's a bit wrong, isn't it? Because. Yeah, it, it doesn't matter. It's a, it's a, it's a fun game. Now. So that's where we got up to. Now. The true legend. The true legend, that is Mr. Stackbats, has been working his magic again, right? So, this morning, I got this. We have Nico with a cape <laughs> for flight mode. We have Nico with a cape. Now, I think I think that's meant to be red, isn't it, Stace? It's just that you can only overlay two sprites, yeah? So we've got Nico running without the cone, Nico running with the cone, Nico ducking without, Nico ducking with. Yeah, Nico with a... Uh, with a um, cape with a cone and Nico without the cone with a cape. Now I think this this one will change yeah because we'll probably put this cape on here yeah because then we'll we'll overlay three sprites on top of each other for when the capes activated we'll overlay the third sprite the cape sprite on top of it but look, he's worked his absolute magic again. They, I mean, Mrs. OSK thinks they're brilliant. She absolutely loves them. She thinks they're brilliant. So, what I was thinking was trying to see if we could get, see if we could activate, uh, see if we could do flight mode, yeah? Hang on. I don't know if you can see this. Where's the desktop yet? So he's actually sitting, he's actually got his head 
on the fan base. The boys are struggling today. Hello, just in case you don't think it's live. The boys are struggling today. Yeah, so so I think we need to. I think we need uh, we need to get rid of that on the Nico flight with Cone, and I think that should be on that. We can superimpose that on top of the Nico flight. I, I'm just wondering, are they the same? Sp Flight sprites. It's just a different over, just different overlay for the cone. And I presume there's one where he's in flight. That is it. That one. That looks like it, doesn't it? That's him in flight on his own. So what I was thinking, right, was let's try. Let's try and get. Um, Let's try and get these these modes in, yeah? So duck mode, I don't think we'll have a duck mode. As in a, a, a crouch mode, not duck mode. A crouch mode, because all the trees are going to be growing out the ground. So there's going to be nowhere. So what I was thinking was using this, using this sprite when he hits something, that he drops, you know, he drops to the ground, yeah? And we have a power, one of the power-ups will be flight mode. So a power up is going to be cone mode where he becomes invincible, but he, then he can't pick up any power ups, uh, and so can f get, run through trees. We've also got flight mode with invincibility, and we'll think of some other power ups that we can work with. Yeah, but let's let's get the let's get the control system in place because I want to put the control system in place and. Um, um, so we can press a key to jump, yeah. So this game is going to be very. This game is going to be so simple, yeah. It's one key press. It's jump, 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 yeah. Jump to jump over something. Jump to grab a biscuit. Jump to grab a power up. And stuff like that, yeah. Jump, jump. Um, and then once we've got the controls working. Then we'll uh, see if we can get, see if we'll, see if we can code up the, because the the way I was thinking of flight mode, right? For the flight mode would be, you press jump, it goes into flight mode, and then glides for the duration of the power up. Yeah. So we haven't decided how long the power ups are going to last, but for the duration of the power up, it would it would fly safely up in the sky, you know, not having to worry about a thing. And then when the power up's finished, then he falls back to the ground like he was jumping, yeah? So jump up, glide, when he, when the timer runs out, fall to the ground, as in a jump. I don't know what you think, because that's what I was thinking. But first we've got to put the we've got to put the controls in place. Yeah? So let's let's get the controls in place so let's go and we're going to use the same control system that we use for myriad yeah so let me see if I've still got that in my list and no I haven't right folder oops wrong drive git twitch uh, that one. I think it's that one. Yes, this one. So we'll run this. Oh, and I've run it too early. So here's our keyboard. So we need we need a jump key. What should we use for the jump key? I'm giving you the opportunity to make your suggestions. The jump key. What should we use? Anybody? Spacebar. 
Right, two votes for Spacebar. Spacebar has it. Right, and I'm going to put some secret keys in. I'm going to put some secret secret keys in because I want to be able to dynamically change the speed. So So we'll use I and O. So I is slower, O is faster. Um what else? What else? What else? Um Oh we'll figure the rest of it out. Right, space bar is the bottom. So that's uh, row seven. And we are bit four. Right, I right, I and O is row one zero one two three four five. So I is bit six and O is bit two. That'll do. So we've got, so we'll leave that there. I'm gonna leave that there. So I've, I've brought in the keyboard and the joystick libraries from Myriad yeah because they're self-contained there's nothing special about them nothing nothing special about them um, no, I don't think and we return oh we've got the array here but the arrays the arrays here So that's the that's self-contained in the keyboard, and the joystick is self-contained as well. I'm just seeing if there's any. Um... Now we're just what are we returning back? Let's get rid of that. Clear is not triggered. Triggered right. Check down, right, okay, so we're checking down. Fire has a cooldown, which is in here anyway. Right, so these are self contained, so we can use these as um, in, in our thing. So we need to create a new file. So, start off with the important one. And finish off with that one. Right. So, we need to... Um, We need to, uh, let's have a look, we need to check, so let's do, um, check joystick. So, as we are, oh, I'm trying to remember what we did in Myriad. We checked each one in turn, didn't we? The ones that we were using. So okay. So JSR. Um, I need to. That. That. 
Right, let's just make sure we're doing this right. Joystick. Read joysticks, that's what we need to do. There we go, that's what we need to do. So we need to read the joystick and then we check whether we're doing. Now for in this particular case, we're gonna be doing JSR lib joystick dot check. Check, 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 check fire, I think it is. Yeah, check fire. Right, so if it's not triggered, the cap it's clear. So branch if carry clear, try keyboard. In fact, we won't call that check joystick. Hey, Nico, Nicomo. So we're going to say try keyboard, All right? So let's put that in. So the secret keys to speed up and uh, shut down. I'm not going to put on the joystick. So the joystick is just fire only. Yeah any other pressing is going to be ignored yeah so basically on here we're going to say load uh, da, 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 da. what we're loading game constants that's what we're loading and we are storing it in storage dot nico jump and then we'll return out because that's all we need to do that's all we need to do because that's oops because that's the flag that tells us that we're in, jump, we're in jumping mode so read keyboard so JSR keyboard right let's get grab the keyboard And we are, we are there. We're doing that. So we're scanning the keyboard matrix. So um, we need to check. So let's check our jump first, which is the space bar. So we're loading in row seven. Keyboard scan byte uh, plus seven, and then we're comparing it with we're comparing it with no, we're not, we are ending it with that. And branch if not equal to test for slow down. Right, and that's testing the space on on seven. And then we set we set Nico. So the thing, 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 the thing. If we act, no, that's wrong. It's branch if equal to zero, isn't it? I am just wondering now if I just do branch if not equal to. To there. 
Oh my god, more bits? Thank you very much. You guys really spoil me. And we can get rid of that. Oh, I didn't hear that, mate. Oh, thank you for the bits, mate. I didn't hear that. I've got my speakers off. Thank you for the bits, dude. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. Right, so let's go through this right. We load we load keyboard row seven. We we and it with that. If it's not equal to zero, that means that this happened, then we come here and we set Nico jump in. If it's equal to zero, then we carry on. So I don't need this test for slowdown. Right, so let's test for the speed up and slow down. So that's now load five. And let's end it with the one of them. And we'll do this one. For one, two, three, four. Branch if equal to zero to um, test for, I think it's speed up. I think speed up. Yes, it is also very warm. I have got my fan on warp factor six. The boys have nicked a fan and they've got it on warp factor 12. Nico is currently, Nico is currently, let me just put my desk fan on, uh, desktop view on. Hello. Nico is currently still there. And I think Aston is there. You can just see him on the cool mat. You can just see a bump on the cool mat. Well, there's Nico. As you could tell, it is very warm here. Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, last time, hang on, where's my thermometer? Let me just check my thermometer. So this is inside the house, right? This is in the room. So currently it's 33 <laughs> in here. It's 33. <laughs> And this drink has gone warm. Oh dear. You was wondering who was waving back. That was me. That was me with the fan. So, anyway. Uh, right, so that's speed up. So let's grab that. Hot stream. <laughs> all it needs is a all it needs is a pool, you know, one of those tubs. I could be streaming for in a tub, but it wouldn't be under a coding stream, would it? <laughs> what am I talking about? Oh dear! Right. Uh, so, branch if. Branch if not equal. Oh, I'll just put exit. And then we'll have exit here. Like so. Right, so this is speed up, yeah? So, um, and the way, no, this is, hang on, slow down, speed up. Slow down, speed up. I think that's how we did it. Hang on, let's go back to uh, here. Slow down, speed up. Yeah, that'll do. So this is slow down. So what we're going to do is we will... Um, 
we will decrement that value, this here. Yeah. We'll decrement that and then we'll jump to um, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? Um, 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 um. We will jump to um, oh. We'll do that. And then this will be increase. So we'll increase the speed. Right, so then we can go do that. And it with seven, because we know that's, we know seven's the quickest and then store it back. Oh. and then store it back. So that's going to validate, make sure that we're always within our speeds. Yeah. So, um, right, so we need a way to turn off the jump in Nico. So in the Nico file, so I've got game Nico here. We need a way of turning off Nico. Um, da -da 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 -da. So increase Y, blah blah blah. Turn, there we go. Turn off Nico. Oh, we need to do all of this, don't we? We need to do all of this. Right, let's go back to controls because we need to tell it to initialize the jump, don't we? So that's what we need to do there. Right, so I've got a file now called Game Logic where all the game logic's going to be in, yeah? So I am going to, um, I am going to in between, in between the two rasters. That's where we're going to test for the keyboard. So we'll test for it, test for the control. So JSR controls dot. Oh, have I imported it? Good point. Good point. Have I imported it? No. So in between controls dot check controls. Right. So if all else fails, that should work. Ooh. Did I not call it keyboard? Oh lib keyboard, isn't it? Lib keyboard. Right, let's change them all. There we go. Right. Hopefully, ooh, check fire. It's not in the joystick library. Of course it is. Oh, Lib Joyce 2. Okay. That's imported. It's imported with this. Don't moan. Oh, you're joking. It is moaning. Oh. Hmm. 
There we go. That sorted it. Right. So we should just have Nico and... Clearly something's gone wrong. Clearly. Clearly, clearly, clearly. Clearly. All right, mate. So clearly something's gone wrong. Yeah, let's let's try the joystick. See if the joystick works. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Alright, let's do one thing at a time. Let's, um... Let's do one thing at a time. In fact... We'll put a break point there and we'll see what's going on. Yeah, red light on vice, but no jump. Yeah. We'll see, we'll see. I think I've got joysticks on. There we go. So it's checking fire. Now fire shouldn't be... There we go. So it bypasses it. Now it's checking the keyboard. So this is doing the keyboard check. Now it's gone through. Right, space bar. No. Branch of Clary Clear, bypass, yeah. Right, okay, so let me see if I can get the joystick. Joystick, joystick fire is alt, I think. Is it alt or control? No, I didn't disable the walking animation. That's the, that's the thing. I didn't disable the walking animation. The walking animation should be working. Um, storage. Yeah, Nico jumping is off. So let's let's just do that and just see. Yeah, so the animation is running. It is running pretty quick. That's because I've probably left it on seven, haven't I? Knowing me, I probably left it on seven. Yeah. There we go. So, one thing at a time. So, let's go into game controls. Don't need that. Get rid of that. Game controls. Let's um, I don't know why it's moaning at game constant there, but there we go. So we'll get rid of that. And we will We'll just put exit in there. I think it'll reach it. Should reach it. So joystick only. Now, I haven't activated the controller, I don't think. No, I haven't. Logic. Did it check the wrong joystick port? Well, it's um, I'm using the Lib2 joystick, so it should be the right one. Right, here we go. Here we go.
So we got Nico jumping. There we go. Oh, that is something that we need to check. That's something we need to check. So let's go back into controls and we'll do that here. Oh, hang on. Hey, Grey Defender, welcome, welcome. It's been a while, mate, been a while. I can do BMI here, can't I? To exit, because we don't want it to do anything. We don't want it to do anything. If Nico's jumping, we don't want to initiate the jump again. Right, let's try it again. Right, so we got Nico running. Yeah. Here we go. Jump. Jump again. There we go. He's not glitching now. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Right. So let's get the controls for the keyboard working now. So we got to figure out what's going on. Uh, 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 controls. So we know the we know we know the joystick is working. So we scan the keyboard. Keyboard scan keyboard matrix. That's this bit. Then we store it. We should slow down the walking animation while he's in the air. Well, we did. We did slow that down. We did slow that down. Well, why are you jumping? You're not switched on. Oh, 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 oh. I've just activated the keyboard and I, I think our logic for the keyboard is wrong. So, yeah, we slowed the we slowed the jumping animation down. So it's like he jumps. It's like it, it, it's it's even though it's only four frames. I think we go through it twice. I think we go through it twice. Let me just. Um, Do we eor it? Oh, that's a point. Do we eor it? I think we do. Yeah, we, we did, I mean, the last stream, we did slow it down so it did all the four frames, but it just seemed a little bit strange because it, it was just the four frames. I mean, we did it at normal speed, and he's like, he's, yeah, he's got he's having, he's having a fit. Um, but, keyboard matrix. If we load scan by 7, that's row 7. You've subbed. Oh, it ain't come through yet, mate. When it does, when it does, I will be most grateful, mate. I will be most grateful. Okay, right. 
so um yeah would i don't know if you've i don't know if you've watched this before great great that we're doing the um we're doing the game jam that phase 101 set up that's to do a clone of the trex runner is it trex runner you know that chrome game chrome game that's hidden down so we're do, we're basing it on Nico. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna have a bit of a twist on it. So we got, but um, yeah, we've got we've got some other sprites we're gonna try and put in. So we've got flying sprites. We've got Nico in a in a cone because he's currently got a cone on. I don't know if you've seen him. Yeah, and, and while he's asleep, I'll, I'll bug him for you. While he's asleep, there you go. Oh, he's struggling. Same with the other one. Other one struggling as well. Oh, you can just see Aston there. Yeah, he had an eye operation. So this is what spec. This is what's. Um, he's been the inspiration for this game. So let's figure out why 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 I'm, I'm not sure I'm not sure it's all right right I'm not sure hang on zero one two three four five six it's definitely row seven and it is definitely bit four Um, how long does Nico have with the, the cone? Well, he's he's had it on for two weeks, yeah? Um, they sold his eye up. He's back in the vet tomorrow to have the stitches taken out and see how he's progressing. And if he's not progressing enough, they're going to sew his eye back up again for another two weeks. So... Um, this is costing me a small fortune, but it'll be all worth it if he if it saves his eye. Maybe it's reversed. Maybe it's reversed. Oh, have I fallen foul for that thing again? So yeah, so um, he's having his stitches out tomorrow. The vet's gonna have a look at his eye. If she deems, if she deems that his that his eye hasn't healed enough, then they're going to sew it back up again. So he's ha he'll probably have another operation tomorrow. Um, yeah, he's, I, I know vets aren't aren't cheap, but. I I I want to at least have try and rescue his his eye. Just at least try, because um, if we don't try, then I'll forever be kicking myself, wondering. Right, where is that? Oh, it's there. Oh, it's at the top. Right, we're doing a roll. We're doing a roll. So where's my tester program? Am I doing a roll? Yes, I am. I'm doing a roll. Am I meant to be doing a roll? Hmm. So that's okay. So basically, I'm not sure how I'm going to be able to test for this. 
I think we need to find where that is. Keyboard scan. Let's find out where that memory is, memory is so we can see what's going on. Da, 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 bike dump. So, keyboard scan matrix. Let's go find it. There we go. That's what we're looking for. And it's 09F9. 09F9. Right, let's see. Let's see if my coding is working. So Mrs. OSK thinks that it's cool that we've uh, decided to make a game of Nico. 09F9. There we go. So that's where the keyboard scan matrix is. So if I press space, so that should be 7. Oh! Have I got it the wrong way around? No! Oh, I've got it the wrong way around. No, I can't have it the wrong way around. Everything's FF as well. Oh, everything's FF. Um, do, 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 do. I need to EOR, I need to exclusive OR it, don't I? Lip keyboard. Nico's jump, yeah, because you haven't seen some of the size of the trees. Hang on, I'll show you. I'll show you what why he's jumping high. Let's get into the tool. Um, oh, that's another thing I forgot to show. Sorry, sorry, Stacy, Stacy, mate. So many things going on. Cause Stacy's also made some changes. Here we go. Here we go. Right. Let's zoom in. Because we've got some pretty high trees, yeah. So we've so the trees are right. So this tree is one, two, three, four high, and we've got so and and Stacy's look. We have now got kennel dog houses to jump over. Dog houses. So we've got this one that's one, two, three, four, five, six high. So he's got to be able to. He's got to be able to clear these. He's got to be able to clear these these type of trees yeah so that's why he jumps pretty high yeah downside of jumping pretty high is you jump long as well depending on how fast the ground's moving from underneath you but we've got look we've got a dog house so yeah and that's why he's jumping high we will tweak the height once we've once we've figured out how high we're going to go because i think that is going to be the height i think that's going to be the maximum height yeah yes this is the genius mr stacy mr stack bats his his i don't know what he visions in his head but it's great when it turns when it comes in char pad and sprite <laughs> sprite pad Yes, the trees have faces. Yes, the trees have faces. It's going to be one of those fun games. <laughs> blushing. You don't need to worry about blushing, mate. <coughs> Wrong old. Excuse me. So as you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's ten. We're scrolling twelve, are we? We're scrolling twelve. So we've got room to play about with. 
Where's the sun with the f the face? Well, we are rota <laughs> Well, we're actually cheating, Nicoma. We're actually cheating because we are. We are. I think it's that one, is it? No, it's not that one. Um, where is it? Floor. This is it. We're sort of cheating because we're repeating the floor. Yeah. What you're seeing is the floor being repeated over and over and over again. Yeah. So we've got 128 carry 128 floor string, which it just rotates round. Yeah. And then what we're going to do is we're going to plonk the trees on. Yeah. We're going to plonk the trees. Duck. Um, we're going to proceed procedurally insert the trees. Yeah. So um, it's not going to be. It's not going to be a map that we're going to run through. We're going to we're going to pr procedurally insert the trees. So we're going to randomly go. Are we putting a tree on? No. Right next time. Are we putting a tree on? No. Same tree and house in background for two mins while Fred is driving. <laughs> 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 I'm not going to deny it. It's, we're, we're trying to we're trying to make something nice here, right? I'm I'm going to load up Myriad because I want to find out what we did with the keyboard um, on the C64 version. Hang on, uh, open workspace folder because I'm sh I'm wondering if we oh. Did we OER it? <laughs> du, 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 du. Oh, no, it's not that one. You alright, buddy? Hey? I know it's hot, mate. I know it's hot. Hey? Try and stay under the fan, yeah? Alright? It's Aston. He's panting away like nobody's business. I don't know if you can see him. He's there, look. And by the way, yes, it's me, Cooey. Right. Oops, wrong one. That's the one I want. Right, uh, maybe add 64, that one. Right, controls. <laughs> He's a nice fellow. <laughs> Good job you didn't see further down. Oh, you, no, you can't see him. You can't see my shorts. Uh, right, let's find out what I, what did I do here. Uh, keyboard. Here we go. So we do the keyboard capture. Was a key pressed? What's the mask? Oh, the mask is right. So I must be doing something different. Utils, keyboard capture. Let's go to there. Or am I inverting? Am I inverting? Please tell me. I Yes, I'm inverting. I'm inverting. Right. So, we are missing. We are missing... So the best thing to do is to copy all this. Oh no. Uh. Right, we'll put that there. Put that 
there, put that there. And then that one, that one is our, that's the, the, that's the one that says that we've pressed the key. Right, that could be the reason why it wasn't working. So let's try it. Let's see. So we're still jumping. Let's find, where are we? Let's find where, where that is. Because it's moved. Oh, 09F9. No, it's in the same place. That's good news. 09 and we are still FFs that's not good that's not good why is that That should be okay. And it's still FF. Why is it not, not doing it? Right, let's just make sure it's actually got it in there. Why is it not putting the break point in. This extension is getting tiresome. Oh, it's not even getting there. So there's the break point, it's not even getting there. Did I take the keyboard test out? So that's storing it. Branch if equal. That's up here. Check key for activities. Right, okay. Check key for activities. I will make it go then here. I will make it go there. So it should be zeros now. And it should break, which it does. Right, we'll turn that off. 
Right. Own. Uh, here we go. So we're zeros. Finally, we're zeros. So we're spacebar. Spacebar. There we go. It's the wrong way round. I've got them the wrong way round. I've got them the wrong way round. Surely I've got them the wrong way round. Roll. Have I gotten the wrong way round again? Roll. Print binary LSR. Oh, gotten the wrong way round. You idiot. Plank. Wrong way around. The print thing was the wrong way around. Plank, 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 plank. Ah, controls. Right, so we're looking at that one, not that one. That means we're looking at that one, not that one. And that one, not that one. Ah, trust me to have a program, test program, wrong way around. And it's, we're still jumping. But this time, I think we're probably jumping for a reason. <laughs> it controls. Uh, right. Oh, hang on. No, it's not that, is it? It's that. Uh, ooh. That is weird. Right. So we've got some glitches here. We are glitching. Well, it doesn't it doesn't help, but we've got some glitches look. The memory Oh, I bet that's when it's reset. But that's when it's reset. But it's what's happening is I think it's reading this. I think it's reading that value. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We press the space bar, it's the one before. Yeah. But this is supposed to be our indicator that we've pressed a key and it doesn't seem to be doing it. Right, let's try that. Oops. Let's make sure that our keyboard reading routine is doing it. Right, we're all zeros. We're happy here. Right, all zeros. Continue. And now we're FFs. That's because I've reset them to zero. Oh. Oh. Right.
The frights, the sprite frames are bananas. Yeah, it's um. Let's sort this out first. I think seven. Um, what I need to do is I need to initialize it, don't I? Right, let's try that. No, he's still jumping, but I'm not doing anything. Why is he still jumping? We are definitely glitching. We are definitely glitching. There's something overwriting it. Yeah, um, this it shouldn't, it shouldn't be, because there's I and O working, and there's spacebar working, but I just don't, right, okay, so maybe our test is wrong, maybe the test is wrong, right, so if we load the keyboard scan byte, plus seven, and, and then and it with that, if it's equal to zero, so that's saying it's not equal to zero. Oh, da, 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 da. Let's not read the joystick. Let's just make sure the joystick's not getting in the way. Does he jump now? So I'm just wondering if it was the joystick. Oh, there we go. Space. Space. Right, speed up. Maybe they're not. Mm, no. Nope. Well, it seems to be the joystick. Cause if I load it back up, right? So we we evaluate the joystick. Read joysticks. Read joysticks. Are we reading both of them? That's a good point. Yes, we are. We're reading both of them. But we should only be testing joystick port 2, which is this one. So let's just check. You would think that was Yeah, you would think that the check fire would be looking at the right one. So load the joystick and it with compare it with so we're doing the compare anyway. Compare it with fire. Branch if equal if it's the same.
I'm just wondering if it's getting confused between joystick one and joystick two. But we we can alleviate this because we could say Hello, John here. Thank you for following. Hope you enjoy the stream. Oh, new follower. New follower. Say hello. Who, whoever it is. Whoever it is, where are you? Hey. Welcome. Welcome. Say hello to say hello to our new follower. Right, I'm just wondering if it's getting confused because it's reading port one. So let's just rem out port one. And just uh, just run on port two. Right, let's see if it's getting confused. See, it's still jumping. Uh, let's go to exit. Well, that's new. That is definitely new. So this is just this is just using joystick only. Yeah. And we seem to be okay. So I'm just wondering if the joystick routines getting confused with the keyboard routine. So let's get rid of joystick one. Oh, hang on. Oh, dude, John, what are you doing? You plank. Are oh, you a complete plank? That's meant to be B. Joystick one's on B. Ah. This is me doing it when it was warm. I think joystick two's on A. Port one is on B, yeah? Did you? No. Did I not see that? Right, let's get the right port. Let's get the right port because I'm a bit annoyed with myself if I've got the wrong port. If I've gotten the wrong way around. Where are you? Where's the Bible? Here it is. Right. Port A. Port A is joystick port 2. And put... Oh, hang on.
Joystick port 2 is A, which is that one. And joystick port B is port 1, which is that one. The problem is, the problem is, we're messing around with the ports. We are messing around with the ports. And... I wonder if... I wonder if the keyboard is still... Do I reset the keyboard? That's a really good question, John. Do I reset the keyboard back to what it was? Maybe I should set data direction on A. So data direction, oh, one is output. Oh. And B is input, and that needs to be output. Maybe we need to do this. Oh, I haven't got the CIA thing is in there. DCO2. DCO2, DCO3. Oh, I've got it. I must have it in the joystick. Of course, surely. Now... Right, I wonder if it's that. I wonder if it's because we'd set the one of the ports to be, and it's not that. Right, I'm going to strip out port 1. I'm going to strip out port 1. Strip that out. And strip all that out. Right, do we still have a problem? And that's the joystick firing that. Because if I don't read the joystick, I'm just wondering whether or not to have the joystick. If I do that, I'm thinking of not having the joystick. <sighs> right, let's see if we can get this um, speeding up and slowing down sorted. Scan bytes plus five. Branch if equal to zero to here. If it's not equal to zero, then we go there. So decrease, right, let me put a breakpoint there and put a breakpoint there. Let's see if we go through those routines. Oh, and I'm running the wrong thing because vice doesn't break anymore. Yeah, joystick port conflicts with the keyboard because it's using the same port. Right, so if I press I, 
and sure enough right there's our keyboard there oh is it yes it's there so zero one two three oh it's four not five did I put, I'll put row five it's four Well, it's only going to be one button, so ASP. Right, let's have a look. Let's see. Do we speed up? Right, here we go. Speed up. Nice. There we go. So we can affect the speed, yeah? So that's zero. Zero and slow it down. Zero. Now I'm too slow, so that's zero. That's probably four, seven. So we can we've we've now proved that we can vary the speed of the game on the scroll. Right. Oh, finally. So we was talking about getting Nico. Hey oh, Mr. Stackbats has been at it again. He's been at it again. Just bear with me. Bear with. Bear with. Let me put it in the directory. So, paste. He's been at it again. Uh, no, not that one. It's that one, isn't it? So, we've got another one. This one. Ah, I see what you've done. I see what you've done. So you've taken the cape off the flying one now. And the cape will be on... Right, let's see if we can get him flying. Let's see if we can get him flying. So, uh, da, 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 da. let's get remove all duplicate sprites. Oh, undo. Why do you think there were a lot of sprites? Okay, let's uh, do that. Right, so we're going to do the normal one. So we've done normal. So this must be Nico running, yeah? That's Nico running. Then we've got Nico with the running with the cone on his head then we've got flying Nico oh that's jumping Nico jumping Nico right okay I, I've got it now I've got it now so uh, we need to make make some constants out of this lot constants right so first what let's start putting all the start putting them all in so let's minimize that down and just have that and I'll move that over there so we've got Nico running multicolored sprite then we got Nico normal then we have let's 
so Coned Nico multicolor is eight and twelve for high res. Then we've got sixteen twenty. Twelve plus four is sixteen. So that's normal Nico jumping. And then we've got Coned Nico jumping, which is twenty four and twenty eight. So that's coned. Then we've got norm. Oh, yeah, normal Nico. I'll say laying, laying. Yeah. So we got uh, Nico light normal 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 is it normal first? Yeah, normal Nico multicolor, normal Nico lying down at high res, normal Nico coned multicolor, coned high res for lying down. And now we come to Flying Nico. So we've got no, Normal Nico Flying. And Code Nico Flying. Right, so 24, 28, 32, 36, 14, 44. So multicolor high res, multicolor high res. And then we've got one, two, three. Are they the same? Right, okay, um, we seem to have something. So I'll, I'll just leave, but then we've got the cape. And I presume that's high res, yeah? It's not multicolor, is it? No, it's high res, right, high res. So that's gonna, if that is, um, that's, ooh, have I got my maths wrong here? Naught, multicolor running, four, eight, six, twelve, yep, sixteen, yep. 20, yeah. Uh, coned Nico jumping at 24, yeah. Uh, 28, yeah. Oh, it's here, isn't it? That's where I've gone wrong. 28, 32, 36, 14, 44. Forty-eight, uh, fifty-two, fifty-six, sixty. Where's the cake start? Sixty-seven. So if we got two, um, how many sprites we got then? No, that should be all right, shouldn't it? 64. Yeah, we've got, we got enough. We've got enough. Got enough. Right. So let's export all this, all this stuff. Right. 
file export as binary. Okay. Hello. All right, 64 to 67 is the same. So, all right, so can we get rid of them then? We should be able to get rid of them, yeah? Right, we'll get rid of that one, get rid of that one, get rid of that one. Right, so we'll change, 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 change to 64 for the cape. Oops, too many programs open. Right, re-export that. Right, um, 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 um. we are now, where's that sprite set? It's not this one anymore. Which is the one I've just, <laughs> which is the one I've just exported? Which one have I just exported? Nico chasing Nico. Um, oh, final. Is final on there? I can't. Oh, there it is. Here we go. Right. Final. So let's put Nico in here. Right. Let's drag that over. Right. Here we go. Right. Let's see. So we are that one there. So we'll put that there and we'll see if he's still running and we've still got the right sprites. Ooh. You have to be picky. Right, so Nico's running still. And we've still got the right. Right, so now we need to. Uh, what I wanted to try and do is try and get Nico flying, yeah? So we need to try and get Nico flying. So, first things first, we need to set up another sprite. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Where are we? We need another sprite. Game logic. In here. Here we go. So, uh, du, 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 set up sprites. So, we're going to set up another sprite. And it's a high res sprite, so we don't need to worry about that. We don't need to worry about that. Oh, the colour. Colour, colour, colour. What's the colour? The colour is red. The colour is red. So I'm not going to set the the X and Y of the third sprite because that needs to be set when he goes into in fact, I'm not going to turn it on either, because we'll turn it on. We'll turn it on when we're actually committing to the thing. But what we will do is we will set the pointer for the cape. So we'll set the pointer for the cape. Yeah. So in Nico, in the game, in the animation, animating Nico. Now, what we need to do is we need to test. We need to test for the power up. Yeah. So um, game constants, game constants. We need to create power ups. Game constants. So so. 
So we're going to have flight. Yeah, we're going to have flight mode. Which is going to equal... Um, that. So, hey, <laughs> you see my wallpaper. Hey, Faze. Hey, Faze. Welcome. Glad you've cl glad you're coming. We're trying to make Nico fly. So we've got the flag now for power up. So um, so we're going to have a power up. Well, we haven't. We're just. We're just. We're just. Tr we've got the. We've got it now. Reacting to the keys. We've also got variable speeds working now. We've got variable speed working now, so we've got that. So we're just trying to see, get Nico to fly, yeah? Um, uh, we've, I suppose we better do the power-up timer. Um, hi. Low. Right, so. You alright, buddy? Hey? You okay? You alright, mate? Say hello to your adoring public. Yeah? You're not a happy bunny today, are you? Not a happy bunny. Barking at well we're not having we're not having enemies. He's gotta jump over trees, hasn't he? He's jumping over trees. Remember it's the T it's the, the Rex runner clone so we jump we're jumping over trees but, but we also jumping over dog houses because we got dog hours now got a dog house now so this is our timer for the power up yeah so this is our timer um so we'll count that down once the so that's so when we activate the power up we'll count down um so um i'm just thinking how we're going to activate the power up Well, we'll use one of the keys that we've just defined. So, um, what we want to do is, the, in the animation of Nico, we need to check that the power up is on. Yeah. So, in. So. On yeah, we'll be we'll be activating the power up on pickup, but we haven't we haven't worked that out. I'm just gonna have a key press that activates the power up, yeah, just for the moment. So um, we have got a state where Nico is is jumping, yeah, and we have a state we 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 have a state where we here we go. So we're loading Nico jumping and we're doing that and then comparing it the status. If the status is not equal to init, then we go to jumping. If it's equal to init, then we we fire off 
we fire off the um, the jumping animation. But once we get to the top, once we get to the top of the arc, we want to convert that into the flight animation. Hang on, hang on, guys. Sorry, um, Nico fell down the stairs. Um, <laughs> I think I think he th one. I think he's fed up with the cone. And two, I think the heat's getting to him. Right. It's all. He's all right. He's he's all right. I've checked him over. He's all right. He was at the bottom of the stairs, guys. Uh, while I'm upside down, but he's fine. I think he's just fed up with the cone. He's fed up with the cone. Right, so, so we're gonna test for the top of the arc, and if the power up is on, when we've reached the top of the arc, then we're going to stop with the arc, yeah? We're gonna stop with the arc, and then we're gonna just ha have him in flight mode for the duration, for the duration of the uh, power up timer, yeah? So, and, and then when the power up timer expires, then we'll complete the jump arc so he lands back on the floor, yeah? Right, so we gotta figure out how to put this in there. Um, yeah, that's gonna be fun, isn't it? So our right, so our our jump arc frame is this. So this is what we're going to use, yeah. So we can use that to determine whether at the we are at the top of the uh, the frame, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right, so I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what we can do is instead of have trying to mix the jump and the power up, we could have the power up as one so if Nico's jumping while the power up instead of going to instead of jumping to perform the animation all right that's here animation so this is performing the Nico animation so that should be okay but if he's jumping that's here this is where we're delaying we're delaying the animation So this is animate this is animating Nico, right. This is animating Nico. So we don't need to worry about that because we're gonna set that. It's the jump. This is the jump. So we're talking the jumping and that's all we're talking about now. God, it's warm. Okay, right, let's see if we can do this. So if we are in, if we are in initialize, we set up Nico to, yeah, I mean, it was 33 in the room earlier. Hang on, let me just have another look.
Still 33 in the room. Yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I've got heat generators everywhere. Heat generators everywhere. Oh, you've had a power cut. Yeah. Hopefully the bedroom's nice and cool anyway. Forty-eight. Wow. So, we either we either test for the power up and then do the jump cycle with the power up. We try and merge it in. I'm just trying to see um, what's the better one. What's a what's a weird eye look? Oh. animating of Nico oh <laughs> counter right okay so oh equivalent to that right okay I got you I got you um, 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 um so um, I th I'm just thinking how we're going to do this I know roughly how we're going to do this it's the animation uh, we need a better way of the animation um, Yeah, it's what I'm thinking. It's what I'm thinking. It's what I'm thinking. So that means that... Um, the flagging system needs to be changed then. Flagging system needs to be changed. we've got jump okay um. I, I, I need to make the animation I need to make the animation um work for all types that's what I need to do so 
how are we going to do this? I think. I think we. I think we need a. We need a, a an animation startup frame. So the animation base is what we're setting the base animation to. So when we do the jump, we can set the base animation and then we don't have to worry about what state it's in. We don't have to worry about what state it's in. Yeah. So um, let's well let let's try let's just try this out, right? So um, so when Nico's finished when Nico's finished running, we turn it off and store it there. We also then need to re reestablish that he's running. Store it in storage. Dot animation base. Right. So that's done that. And then when we're starting, when we're starting the jump, we need to set the animation base to Nico jumping. So here, we don't do add that. We don't need to test for that. We just add animation base. So whatever the animation base is, we're adding the frame to. Right, let's try this out. Let's just try this out. We haven't done really anything. We've just changed the way that the animation's been held. And clearly we got it wrong. So what is wrong with that? Oh, we're not, I know, we're not setting it at the start, are we? We are not setting it in the startup. Um, logic. So when the game starts, we need to set that up. Uh, da, 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 here. Set up sprites. There we go. And it's H, which which is first HR multicolor. Which is first? Ah, uh, multicolors first. So we're doing that. So back in the animation. Ah, sprite zero. And then we're adding four to sprite. Ah, so we're going backwards. Going backwards. That's what I like to see. Right. So now we're not even testing in the animation what state we're in. We're just relying on what we set the base to be. Right. So that means now that we, when we do the power up, we don't need to worry about the animation because we can set the base. We just need to work out the mechanics of the, f in the middle of the jump, the flight. Yeah? So, um, I think, 
we're gonna need we're gonna need another another thing game logic where are we doing Nico jump here Uh, we got the power up there. So Branch it plus because we're going to use the same thing as we're doing before bypass power up. Then we're going to test whether then we're going to test whether we are Ooh. oh dear. Hey Proton, we're doing all right. We're just trying to work out our state machines. Right, okay, so. I don't, I don't want to do the, I don't want to do the JSL if I don't need to. We are, co we are coding, um, for a game jam that, Phase 101's set up where we're trying to do a clone of um, trying to do a clone of um, I think it's Rex Runner no we're still doing Myriad we're, we're just putting it on hold we've done everything all the Commodore machines we were starting to migrate it to the BBC but we're just putting it on hold Google Trex thank you Phase so we're doing a, but we are we're not doing a dinosaur jumping over cactuses we are using our, our favorite favorite pooch Nico and he's jumping over trees so we're just trying to and we're giving him some power up so we're trying to work out the power of flight the power of flight so um, We need to we need to check what power up it is, don't we? Flight mode, there it is. Bypass power up. Uh, so that's gonna be here. You started doing a game too. What for? For the phase one hundred and one thing, or just uh, in general? Right. So we've tested the power up. So now we need to test what the power up is. So um, so if we end it with that, that will give us whatever the power up is. Um, so compare it with. Oh, I 
think I called it game constants. There we go. Right, so are we in flight mode? Branch if not equal to bypass. Power up. Because at the moment we've only got one. So, uh, now we are into. Now we need to check are we jumping? So Nico dot Nico flight. There we go. So that's how we're going to do it. Let's see if we can get Nico flying. So we'll copy this because it's going to be based on this anyway. So, um, so we've got to set the power. We've got to set the power up. So it's the power up that's the that's the activator, and then the space bar will be doing the normal jump. Right. Okay. So we have the initialization where we're setting up the jump animation, and then we set up the arc. Yeah. And then we set up the frame counter. So then we change it to, we're going to change it to, what's the next one I put on it? Jump up. That's what we're going to do. Oh, I've lost this. Lost it. There it is. So we're going to change it to jump up. Then we filter out the, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. That's not gonna work, is it? Right. There we go, that should sort it out. Right, so there's our there's our states. So we're loading jump up, but we're not we're taking the initialization out of it. To be honest, I don't know why, 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 why. I think we should do this the other way around. Load that. Get rid of the initialization and change it to that. But to be honest, to be honest, we only need to keep, we only need to keep that, because that's the flag that's jumping. And then store it back. So that's jumping up, yeah? 
So in jumping up, how's the bedroom? Cooler. Cooler? Cooler. Are you taking the dogs in there? Yeah. Right, okay. Um Right, let's just get this right. So that's setting it up and then we're doing it into jump status. So if we're not if we're not jumping we're gonna say jump up. So this is the jump up. So let's test that we are jumping up. Do you want me to carry him in? I'll carry him. Just bear me a second, guys. Right, Miss, <laughs> Mrs. OSK's got him in the bedroom now because it's cooler in there. See if they'll be all, see if they'll be better. Right, so this is the start of the jump cycle. So uh, we've initialized the jump cycle. We don't need to test for the floor, but what we do need to do is store it, store it in the two sprites. Doing that, and then we'll divide this by two. Because we want to stop when we hit the top, yeah? And then branch if not equal to uh, exit. Want to jump out. So it starts it starts the jump up, but if it is if it does equal that, then we need to change the state. We need to change the state, so we'll grab that, and then we'll say Nico is now in flight. And this is where we're going to have to. This is where we're going to have to activate. Activate the um, third sprite, I think. Now I turned it off. Should I leave it switched on and then just move it or just set Y to be zero? Uh, we'll switch it on, we'll switch, we'll switch it on so. So that's turned it on. We've all, we already set the color. Um, we already set the color. So then we need to. We still need to. Ah, oh, so we can do this. So LDA sprite zero Y. Store it in sprite zero y plus 
2 plus 4. So that will put the sprite on top where we are. Um, now in the animation we can test for this in, in flight. We can test for this in flight here. So let's go to the animation, Nico animation. So there's animating Nico. We can test for this in flight, yeah. Flight. Branch if not equal to exit. So we need to load, we need to load this. Add. the constant for that When he's in flight, that's only going. That's the only thing that's going to happen, yeah. When Nico is in flight, this is the only thing that's going to happen. So, we animate normally, and then we test for Nico jumping. We see if he's in flight. If he's not, we exit. If he is, then we load the the frame the Nico frame counter. Add the base address of the cape store it into the pointer so that should that should solve the animation anyway so now we just need to uh, continue with this so so we've changed it to in flight and we've we've done everything so Do we right? Okay, we'll move to the next one. So, uh, where is it? There we go. Right. So, Nico's now flying. So we're in flight, and. We're in flight. So there's a time frame of the flight. So that's where the power up comes into it. It's where the power up comes into it. Right, so here's the power up flight mode um. at the moment we're only having one power up yeah we're only having one power up. Um, oh. 
Oh, I'm loath to um Hey Twitch Ego, welcome. Oh. Um I'm loath to um I'm loath to shut the power up off because if we shut the power off off it'll never finish. It'll never finish. Um This is why I was thinking of merging it in with the 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 jumping animation. Um But we'll, uh, we will work with what we've got. So if we're only, we're only having the one, one animation, right? So we're just going to stick with the one animation. So, um, 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 and so we're going to set a timer. So once the power up started, we're going to set a timer. Yeah. And that timer will activate once Nico's flying, once he's up there. So, decrease storage, and we've got it called power up, I think. Time low, branch not equal to zero. Right, so that's going to decrease the timer. So we need to check this one. We need to check that. And we will say, is it equal to 255? In fact, branch it plus. If it's positive, then exit, because we're fine. If it's negative, if it's negative, then we are change we'll change the state of Nico and we'll say he's jumping down. So we're changing the animation to jump down. Night. See you next time. We need to check as well. In flight. That's one thing I forgot. change or if he's jumping down then we need to turn off we need to turn off our third sprite our cape sprite so we need to turn that off so it's no, lo no longer on the screen Yeah. So once we've turned off the sprite, then we do the jump down.
So we need to check that we're in jump down. And if we are, then we go back to reading, reading the arc. So we load off because we'll be at the top and Oh, I've just thought, I've just thought something as well. I've just thought something. Uh, we'll come back to that. So we're in the mid arc. Load the um, Y value, store it in the two. Oh, 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 oh. No, 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 no. We need to compare it with the floor, then store it and then go right so that should do it and then we turn off once it's finished we turn off the power up um, but also we need to set the sp we need to set the animation bases so um, when he jumps so he's uh, right we set the jump but when he's in flight so here when he's in flat, we need to set the animation base for him flying, which is. Do we set the multicolor? Yeah, multicolor. Uh, we won't do cone. We'll we'll just do the normal one at the moment. Oh, well, that's going to make it complicated when we have the cone cone flight yeah that's going to make it complicated flying animation store it in the animation base turn on the thing and then when it comes to jumping down so we're in flight so we need to change we need to change the animation base back to jumping oh, when it's finished the flight so we turn off and put the animation base back to flying that uh, back to jumping <laughs> then jump down is it jump down uh, branch if not equal to exit and if it is jumping down then we start the jump down cycle and then we turn off the jumping putting back to running and we'll turn off the power up turn off the power up that's going to be interesting see if that works right let's get in the controls so we know that speed up and slow down is working so what we're going to do is on the on the slowdown we're going to activate the power up yeah so LDA hash um, So we're going to activate the power up and uh, activate flight mode. Store it in power up so that's that's going to activate the power up now 
so um, when we press the space bar it should go into should go into flight mode <laughs> this will be interesting right so I'm activating the power up press space nope Yeah, it should. Right, we didn't activate the power up. So I'm going to do something else as well. I'm going to... I'm going to change the background to red to make sure that the power up's being activated, yeah? So here we go. Right. Well, the background's definitely red, so the power-up's activated, but we're just not doing it. Um, oh. Ah. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Um, I've just remembered something. Uh, controls. Um, what is that number, anyway? One. And then it's zero, is it? Right, okay. Where we finish the power up, we'll put it back to what it should be, which is blue, isn't it? Is it blue or is it light blue? It's light blue, isn't it? Right. Let's see. Right, F6. So it should go red when I put the power up on, which it does. Press space bar. Right, it's not running through it. Not running through it. Flight mode should be on. Right, flight mode should be on, it is. Right, so it is running through, it is running through Nico. But I think the problem is, and also, well, it's running through Nico, but it's not actually, um, it's not actually resetting the background back, which was strange. So, question is, we didn't set, we didn't set the speed. Yeah, we didn't set the speed, so we've set we've turned the power up on, but we need to set the speed. So, um, so um, let's make it long. make it long let's see if it's because I think it's because we haven't set it right power up on jump nope it's not going through even though we put a break point that seemed to suggest it was going through which was there so let's see if it's going through all the all the different phases all 
Right, where's exit? Exit's there. Right, so are we setting up the animation? Let's put a breakpoint there. Right, power ups on, press. So we are going through it. Right, so load A, which is 84. Which is four, so it's do so it starts doing it starts doing the thing. So the next one is there. Right, let's put a break point at every phase. So let's take that. Oops. Let's put a break point at every phase. So it's done. The initialization. So it does the up. Right, we need to check that it does the flight. So we'll put a break point there. Does it is it doing the flight? Right, activate the power up. Up we go. No. No. Does it get to activate in the power up? All right, mate, we'll see you in a bit. Yeah, I've, you saw the cape. But I'm not too sure if it's actually running through it. Right, activate the power up. Fire. No, it's not actually going through it. So, um, we need to, let's, f well, that's where the keyboard stuff is. It's just doing the jump, but I don't think it's running through the flight. I don't think it's running through the flight. It's got to be something to do with this. Flight mode shouldn't be switched off. Right, so we need to find where the power up is. Let's find where the power up is. See if the power up's just uh, becoming null and void right power up is 0815 yes yeah, 0815 that's pretty close isn't it um right Let's go into F6. Let's see if we can find. Oh. Let's see if we can find that va variable. Oh, eight one five is there. Uh, 
Right then. Activate power up. Right, there we go. Powers, powers up and we're in power up flight mode. So when we press the space bar, what happens? Oh, he's doing it. See you later, D-Type. Well, I didn't even know you was there. So is that is that running through Nico in flight? Because I I'm not sure if it's even getting here. Let's put a break point there. I'm not sure if it's getting even there. So that's on the upstroke, yeah. So we know that the we know the value's been set. Yeah, one five is there. Right. So activate the power up. Go. So it is running through it. It is running through it. Right, 30. Next one. Here we go. If it's it, branch if not it. Oh! It went up by more than. Oh! It went up by more than. Why is it going up by more than one? Are we running through the other one as well? Are we running through Nico jumping as well? Right, I'm going to take that one out. I'm just wondering if we're running through Nico jumping as well. Right, activate the power up, press space. And we're running through Nico jumping as well. Right. Okay. Um oh, right. Um If I do plus plus, does that does that miss this Oh I don't need to. Yeah, bypass jump. Now bypass, uh, let's call this bypass. Um... No, 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 no. When we've done that, we need to go past, uh, bypass jump. That's what we need to do. In fact, we'll do that there. Don't need that label there. It was running through the jump cycle. Tw that's why it didn't didn't work. Right, we'll take the breakpoint out of the jump cycle. So now we know what's going off. And we'll take that out there.
Right, activate the power up. Well, jump. So we're just jumping normally. Right, activate the power up. Jump. <laughs> we're getting there. We're getting there. Now, let's do that in, um, let's do that in here. Right, so, um, jump in is just normal. There we go, nice and slow. Activate the power up, jump. Right, so we've got a problem that the X is in the wrong place. Right, that's why we can't see it. So that's easily sorted, easily sorted. Where's X? So he's jumping. Right, activate the power up, jump. <laughs> he's not animating, but we can sort that out. We can sort that out. Just need to reorganize, don't we? Just need to reorganize. Oh my God, more bits? Thank you very much. You guys really spoil me. Oh, Fairlane, thank you very much for the bits, mate. Thank you. That's what I was, that's what I was thinking, but we haven't got... Well, we'll have to see what it looks like, but I think the cape needs to be in front of the sprite, I think. Because at the moment it's behind. So what we need to do, we need to shuffle everything down, yeah? We just need to shuffle everything down. So, um... So at the moment, um, so we need... Right, here's the animation. Yeah, it's working, but the cape was behind all the all the sprites, and we need we need him in front. We need the cape in front, don't we? Um, so we need to shuffle everything down. Yeah, and I'm just trying to think how we can do that. Yeah. Unless unless I permanently make Nico sprites uh one and two. Let's do that. Let's do that. Right, so Nico is gonna be sprites one and two so we're going to be that's going to be two and then plus one and then that's going to be sprite zero so that's done the animation so then when we set the anim um so that's doing the animation so we need to set the the this we need to do the setup again um we need to change this around so everything's fine so our setup is those two are on and that is off and that means that's the multicolor sprite and that isn't 
So, um, red, right, so that is plus one, two, zero. Um, plus two, plus four. Um, plus one, two, zero. Okay. Right, let's get into Nico. Right, so we've done the animation. We've done the animation. So then the cape comes up the front. So when we activate, so it's the activation. So, um, so this is plus two and plus four. Plus two and plus four. Oh, this is activating it. And so we're going to say plus two. Store it back. So this is activating it. And then we deactivate it by doing that. Plus two, uh, plus two, plus four. The animation is being handled there. Yeah. Right. Okay. Let's try that. So we've we've reorg reordered the sprites. So we haven't done any damage there. Nico still going. Right, activate the power up. Right, we've just got to figure out, just got to get the animation going now. Just got to get the animation going. So, why does it stop? Why does it stop? So Nico normal jumping, and that's the animation base. So when we go into animation, oh, we've got, we've got this, we've got this. No, that should be okay. Because we're jumping, and we're still jumping. It's just... So why is this not doing the... Um, let's put a break point there. Let's fire this. So it's going to break on what I need. There we go. So 08 BD. So I'm going to take that off because that's going to really, really. So we're going to be looking over here. So power on. So it's animating, it's animating the Sprite Zero, but it shouldn't be really. Right, let's go up, so jumping up, and then it stops. 
So we're looking for 08 BD. There. Do we break? Yeah, we do. Okay, so what's at 08? Alright, see you later, mate. See you later. Right, 0830, which is there. So we're on 2. It's F10. 3. 0. So it's definitely doing the frame. It's definitely doing the frame counting. But... That's the base. Store it in O seven F A. That's there. So it's definitely changing these. It's definitely changing them. But it's not changing the cape. Okay. Why is the cape not changing? Well, we should be in flight. Oh, oh, rats. That might be the reason. Yeah, turn power upon. Well, these capes, the capes not fluttering. Load Nico frame counter. Add sprite zero. Two consecutive. Oh. Oh, that should work. Oh, John. Ugh, it's too warm. It is too warm. Right, so the animation is not quite there. Are we missing a frame? Are we missing a frame on the cloak? On the cape? There's that one. So that's 40. 41, 42, 43, 44. So we've put 40. Right, 41. I've got to get rid of that, haven't I? That's the cape. And that is Nico flying. Oh, I'm just wondering if these are the flying. What's that? 56. I'm wondering if these are the flying. No, no, they are. Okay, so the cape's wrong. The cape's wrong. We had an extra sprite in there. So let's re export that. Oh. 
Right, let's try it again. Power up. Jump. <laughs> right. Um I, I I think looks like small wings. Yeah. Um. I I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna just slightly um, change because um, right where where's in flight in flight yeah here we go. So this is Nico flying. So I want let's change it to um, constants. Let's change it to that one because I think it. I think it's different. I think it's different. Nico, where have I I've lost Nico? There he is. So let's just do that. And do it again. Yeah. So that's normal jumping. Turn the power up on and jump. Yeah, he's got it moving up and down for the cone. I think we need to do that for the normal. Right, let's let's look. Let's look up how he's done that the normal right so I'm going to put that back to f normal flying so he's got right so this is just staying in the same place look yeah so here he's got up and then down so it's down oh he's got the facial features moving hasn't he and then he goes up so let's grab this right so I think we just need to I think we just need to up, make make it go up how can I make it go up? Um, is there a tool that allows us to scroll it up? Aha! Here we go. Right. So on this one it's down, down, up, up. So down, down, and then here, up, up. Then we change down, down, up, up. Right, let's save that, re export that. Let's go back. Right, here we go. So this is just normal jumping. Turn the power up. Go. <laughs> oh, that is brilliant. That is brilliant. <laughs> now I don't know how long I put that um, delay on for so let's let's shorten the delay let's shorten the delay um, 
It was in controls, wasn't it? Let's shorten the delay because I made it really long. Let's there we go. Let's put it on for ten. Let's see what happens now when it does the full cycle. <laughs> yes, yes, they did. Right, power up activated jump. Right, so hopefully this won't be long before it comes back down. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> Oh That's a long time. <laughs> right. That's a long time. Let's shorten it even more. Uh, let's go to two. Right, that should be pretty quick. Right, power up activated. Jump. This shouldn't be too long. As he says that, and now thinks. So we know it works, right? I'm gonna knock that down. I'm gonna knock that down to one, all right? So here we go, F6. Normal jump, power up, jump. <laughs> oh <laughs> nice oh if the speed is 7 that's governing the scroll that's not governing Nico when the speed is 7 right, let's put the speed on 7 let's put the speed on 7 that's not governing Nico that's just governing the scroll yeah Right, there we go. So there's the jump. Turn the power up on. Jump again. <laughs> um, yeah, it won't be. It, won't, it just normally jumps unless the power up's activated, and then we. We're back in cloak, back in flight mode. Core flight mode is going to be very powerful, isn't it? It's going to be incredibly powerful flight mode. Right, so we know that works. So let's get rid of the um, the colours. Let's get rid of the colours. Right, let's get rid of that. And get rid of that. So, uh, we'll put this back on, we'll put it on two. So now, we won't know if, we won't know if it's activated, yeah? Because I'm not changing the background color, but here we go. Boom, go. There we go. <laughs> I think the cape should also swing faster 
when Nico is faster. Yeah. Um. Um. Yeah. I mean, we can. Hang on. Let's see if we can do something about. If but if I speed it up, then Nico's going to bounce. Uh, rapid. Um. Because we slowed it down. With the scroll speed, yeah. We'll have to mess around with that, but... I mean, this is the normal animation, when it's not in jump mode. Um, Yeah, it's the it's because we slow it down. Look, we slow it down there when it's in fl when it's in jumping mode. Um, we can look at it. We can look at it. But I I, I think we've made really I think we've made really good process pr uh, progress today. So activate the power up jump. We've got him flying. We've got him flying. So, and he lands perfectly as well. And he just, it, he's like, he, he takes it in his stride, doesn't he? <laughs> so we have to make sure that the tallest tree is lower than that. Or we'll have to make him, we'll have to make him go higher. But, we could still have a, a a jump cycle higher in flight than in normal. Oh. <laughs> well, once we get the trees in there, because that's the next. I think that's the next thing is start working out how we're going to put the the obstacles on the screen. Because, like I say, we're going to procedurally put them on. Yeah, we're going to procedurally put them on. And see if we can um, uh, work, see if we can work it out, and see if we can get them going on properly. But I like that. I like that. So we've got him jumping, and now we've got a power up. They're going to be characters. They're going to be chars. So the once we've got the characters on there, then we got to. We've got to work out the collisions around Nico. So we're going to, wherever he is, we've got to work out what the squares are and then we have to see what characters they are. Because we're going to set materials on the character set to say what's dangerous and what's not. And then we'll use that. If there's time, if there's time, mate. If this time, at the moment, we're just trying to, because we've only got, what, one and a half months, uh, well, one month, I think it's six weeks now, six weeks, so let's get, let's get the core of it going, and then, because I'm going to have to work on it outside of stream, I think, unless I do some extra streams, but, um, yeah, well, thank you very much, guys, um, I think... I think we've made great progress today. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Stacy's really good, isn't he? Yes, we got points counter, all that. All that's to come. Number of lives. Also a health meter. Um, I want to be able to put the timer on the screen. So the power up timer, so you can see when it's going to run out. I want to put that on the screen. And... Yeah, maybe even a difficulty indicator. You know, as the speed gets as the speed gets faster, we could show that. So there's a, quite a few things. All right then, guys. Well, I will. It's is it? Oh, it's Mon. It's Monday today, right? I will see you on Wednesday, where we'll try and see if we can put some. Yeah, number of lives. We're gonna have more than one. Yeah. Um. 
So in the next stream, we're going to try and see if we can get some trees on there, some obstacles, and see if we can randomly pick them out. All right. Well, thank you very much for joining me, and I will see you on Wednesday. Take care. Bye. I'd like to thank all the patrons that are contributing to my channel. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing right now. Thank you very much.